I'm Erica Cicero from Cicero Law LLC, here with your estate planning made easy moment of the week. One of the most convoluted and often feared parts of estate planning law in Louisiana is the usufruct. However, there's no need to make this legal concept more complicated than it is. Let me break it down for you. A usufruct is a right by one person over the property of another. The person who has the right of property is called a usufructuary. A usufructuary has the right to use a property, benefit from the property financially throughout his or her lifetime, but this usufructuary is not the naked owner of the property and therefore cannot alienate that property. But what does this look like in reality? Let me give you the most common example we come across in law. Bob and Lori have been married for 20 years. They were both married previously and have children from their previous marriages, but no children together. Bob owns an apartment complex in New Orleans. He and Lori live in one of the units of the complex, and they rent out the rest of the 10 units. And their yearly income is largely from the rental units. These 10 units are very profitable. And Bob wants to make sure that Lori can continue to receive the income from these units even after his death. He doesn't want his wife to have to move out of the property they shared and worry about finances. However, Bob has three children from a previous marriage and wants the property to go to his children after both he and Lori die. Bob does not want the property to be entirely in Lori's control as naked owner of the property because she could leave the property to her children from her first marriage if she wanted to. This apartment unit has been in Bob's family for many years and he would like to see his children benefit from it. But Bob loves Lori and doesn't want her lifestyle to change when he dies. He wants to make sure she's taken care of for the rest of her life once he's gone. Therefore, Bob will create an estate plan where he makes Lori the use of fructuary of his property upon his death. Lori will have the right to live in the home if she wishes, continue to rent out the units, continue to collect profit from the units, and even spend the money that the units provide during her lifetime without having to ask Bob's children permission or their consultation. However, she will not have the right to sell the property or destroy the property because upon her death, these apartments, this unit, will go to Bob's children as the naked owners. Bob's children cannot interfere with Lori's right to the property unless they fear she's doing something detrimental, such as destroying the entire value of the property in which they would take her to court. But Lori will just continue to live in her apartment home and live on the profits garnered from the rental units. Bob's children would not have the right to live on the property or benefit financially from the rental income until Lori's death, upon which time they will have the right to live on the property if they wish, collect and spend the potential profits of the rental units, and even sell the property if they wanted to. This is one example of how a usufruct works in Louisiana. Many people want to look after their spouse or a certain loved one or multiple loved ones and have them benefit from property but they may also want to ensure that the property stays in the family or goes to a religious organization or simply remains within their control. When someone works their entire life to build their personal wealth, it's natural to want to protect that wealth and make sure it lasts for generations. The way the original owner wanted it to last. In my next video, we will discuss other types of property that can be subject to a usufruct and what it looks like if someone has property and no will, no trust, nothing to protect that property because those situations have a very different outcome. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe for more videos like